Yeah, so you could see the thermal imaging video. It, you can kind of see uh -huh. warm and cold areas. Um, oh. you, know, you can see where the heat pump's working. You can see where the, um, where the furnace oh. and all the heat registers. Oh. So, oh, cool. yeah. Um, and I ran the exhaust fan, exhaust fans for a bit. Uh, they're not that powerful, so I couldn't get much of a negative pressure. Okay. And, but um, I'm gonna go around and make sure all the heat registers are working. Go under that bathroom. Okay. Make sure there's no water coming okay. out awesome. from under. Thank and you. Take your time. Yeah, like, you know, typically, you know, the eyes, you see something first and then Right. Then, then I like to use the thermal camera and then um, yeah. the moisture meter is the third thing to find out if. Nice. Yeah, it's just. Yeah. They definitely have a dehumidifier going in the basement. Do so. they? Yeah, not uncommon. Yeah. Not uncommon at all. Because it might be peppermint. Ooh. But last year they only had the Oreo hot okay. It's still good, but. Yeah, and you can see how uh, quickly the temperature changes. Oh, whoa! Oh, wow. Yeah, so it works. It's this little device that I got right down here. That's cool. It's, it's small, but it pa packs a wallet. see this back door not very energy efficient see where it gets really hot right there um, it's likely from the Sun um, the insulation looks like it's low. You can see little scattered patches. You can see the studs in the wall. some air leaks around these attic access hatches they're not fully shut you could add some weather stripping and tighten it less R value or a thermal value than insulation. So if it's hot out, 
and the wood is hotter than between, that means there's insulation there. This cold spot is from the heat pump. And the heat pump is working for the upstairs, this bedroom. And that is right where the shower is. And it looks warm because there's likely no insulation right there. This is, I'm in the upstairs. And you can see some gaps of insulation here. Sometimes it's not really worth it to add, the, you know, pay money to replace insulation. You, you can only save a little bit of money over a long period of time, but in case you do any renovations or want to improve energy efficiency of the home, um, you know, uh, you could put insulation there or uh, just seal the access hatches to the attic, the two small squares. And what weather strip the doors, the exterior doors, weather strip the basement door. And if you get a thicker door for the kitchen going to the outside, that'll also save on energy. So that's my take. All of the heat registers downstairs were working. The furnace um, heats up the downstairs only, and the furnace is just for the heat. Uh, the heat pump um, heats or cools the main living room area and uh, should work, you know, pretty much throughout downstairs. It was working pretty well. And then the upstairs, the, there's the other unit up here, which cools the entire upstairs. And there's an additional sp uh, space heater there to, to help heat up the other bedroom in winter.